Free speech activist Mary Beth Tinker visited Kansas State University recently. Tinker spoke on what it means to stand up for what you believe in. In attendance, Channel 8's Brett Huntington spoke with Tinker and other students on what their perspectives are. When Mary Beth Tinker was in middle school, she was told she couldn't wear an armband with a peace sign to protest the war. She then took her school all the way to the Supreme Court and won. Although Mary Beth Tinker won her court case, she didn't stop there. She still travels from place to place on what she calls the Tinker Tour. Working as a free speech activist, she hopes to inspire young people to speak up for what they believe in. She hoped to inspire people from around the Manhattan area when she came to Kansas State University over the weekend. Of course there's going to be controversy and that's what democracy is all about. And it's what education is about actually also. But luckily we have a guide for how to talk about controversial things and that's called the First Amendment. Tinker's speech resonated highly with student Trace Salzbrenner who strongly believes in the power of student voice. Without being able to express your free speech and being able to go out there and actually advocating for what you believe in, it kind of falls upon someone else to do it for you. Without that ability to go out and say it for yourself, your opinions may fall by the wayside. As the press uses the right to free speech every day, Kansas State Collegian Editor Rafael Garcia understands how vital the First Amendment is to deliver news. It goes into the media having historically been called the Fourth Estate, um, where we're as essential uh, a body in the political process as the politicians themselves. Tinker will continue to talk to schools around the country and share their stories throughout 2018. From Manhattan, this is Brett Huntington, Channel 8 News. You can find out more about the Tinker Tour by visiting the website www.tinkertourusa.org.